today we're going to install the timing chain cover, the uh, oil pan, and we're going to put in this little guy right here. This is the gear that drives the distributor. And the distributor, the camshaft, and the crank all have to be timed perfectly. Let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, first thing we're going to do, take the uh, timing chain cover, note the uh, tensioner. We're going to put this on without the gasket and just get it in position here. There we go. Okay. And we're doing that because we need the pointer. We'll put on our uh, dampener wheel. Where's the key? There we are. And the bolt. Now I'm doing this so I can find top dead center. So we'll have everything timed theoretically. Right now, of course, it is a top dead center. So tighten this down a little. Okay, now the question is, are we on top dead center on the power stroke or the exhaust stroke? I have a lifter. I'm gonna put the lifter in. I have another lifter. I'm gonna put in two lifters, okay? Now, with my fingers on the lifter, I can rotate the crank and I'll know where the valves are. So let's uh, give this a shot here. You know, it'd probably be a good idea if I put the pin in, if I knew where the pin was. Okay, found it, there we go. Okay, now, I got my fingers on the lifters. The piston is all the way up. If it's on the power stroke, the valves are not gonna move. Okay, let's see what happens. The valves are not moving. Now the exhaust valve is opening, which means the piston is coming up. There we go. Now the intake valve should open. There it goes. Intake valve is opening, sucking in the gas. And now the intake valve is closing and we're gonna come up the top dead center right about there. Oh, it lines up. Okay, so now we know number one piston is firing. This is when the spark is supposed to be there, okay? Now I'm going to try to install the, uh, the gear. So I have this set up so you can see down here, here's the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the uh, gear from the camshaft. That is the oil pump. Okay, now you want that oil pump turned to line up in the bottom of the uh, gear in that slot. Now, I, I was trying to put this in, and you know, you drop it in there, you, you can't control it. So I have a little piece of rubber hose here. I am repurposing it, <laughs> and I'm gonna push it into the center of the gear. Now, before we put this in, of course, we're going to put some uh, lube on it. Oh, I said lube. Okay, there we go. Put some on the gears. Okay. Now, of course, this slot drives the oil pump down there. When you look at the, uh, at the gear, the slots are offset. You have one side is larger than the other. And to me, it appears that that side is larger than this side. Okay, looking at it again, I think this side is larger than this side. This has to be to the back of the motor. Okay, so we want that slot, according to the book, with the timing marks lined up, we want the slot to drop in vertically. I want the slot to drop in in this position. So looking at the gear, at the bottom of the gear of the slot, I tried to line up the, the oil pump like that. I'll explain why I'm putting this in basically a tooth off. So 
it's going to turn when it hits the cam and now it's all slippery i think that's all the way down how do i know if it's all the way down okay we get our uh bra our bracket our flange that holds the distributor and we put that on there and that should click onto the block like that not be wobbly and be down all the way like there perfect so that means the gear is down all the way and there's a little bit of play in it now i'm going to hold the gear with one finger and theoretically pull this hose out ta-da there we go i'm going to wipe off a little bit of extra um, residue from the hose and i'm going to put a little bit of oil on the uh, gear which is going to basically drip out the bottom of the engine and go all over the garage floor but hey that's why they make oil dry right now with the gear in place i'm going to get the distributor flange drop that on there i'll just put a couple of nuts and washers on there because i can okay one thing uh that I've done here in building this engine is I replaced the original uh, nuts and washers and bolts with stainless steel because they don't rust. Okay, the flange is in place. I'm gonna take the distributor and if that offset is in the right place, well, the offset will mean that the distributor is only gonna go in one way. Now I have uh, this bracket right here, this hole is gonna line up with that. So that's gonna mean that the distributor's orientation is right about there. And I'm gonna turn this until, oh, look, it clicked in. The distributor is down all the way. Um, I have this kind of movement to uh, adjust it. Let's see where the rotor is pointing. Kinda of need the distributor cap for that. We're not going to snap it and we're just going to hold it in place maybe there that's where the cap goes okay where is the rotor the rotor's right here okay we're going to turn the distributor and call that number one plug okay the piston is on the uh, ignition stroke this is the number one plug that's going to go right there and that looks pretty good to me. So we're gonna call that gear um, installed. Just to double check before I put the uh, timing chain cover on permanently, um, let's check the, the movement on the distributor, make sure nothing is binding. With the engine stand pin in place, and my finger is on the lifters, so I know where the valves are, we're gonna turn the engine. Okay, piston's going down on the power stroke. The exhaust valve should be opening right there. Piston pushes out the burned gas. Starts to go down, the intake valve opens. Now the piston comes up again. And boom. Rotor's in the same place. Everything ran smooth. Hopefully the timing is close enough for this engine to start when the time comes. Well, as you can see, we're ready to put the uh, timing chain cover on. Here's all the stainless steel nuts, bolts, and washers that will be holding on the timing chain cover and the oil pan. So what we're gonna do now, first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna put on some uh, sealant and Probably saw me do this before. Okay, we'll put that on there. We will smooth it out. You 
be a little bit more down here. I know this is so exciting. I don't know how you can stand it. Nothing like applying some good sealant to really perk up your afternoon. Okay. I dream about doing this all day. Oh, I love sealant. Okay, there we go. We have sealant in place. We'll wipe off the excess. Get our gasket. Let's see. Nope, no. Better. Lay that in place. Push it down. Let it let the sealant hold that side. And because this is the timing chain cover, we're going to add extra sealant. Oh, there we go. And don't worry, I did not forget to uh, lubricate the timing chain. I wanted to get the sealant in place because I love sealant. Sealant is fun. Okay. And yeah, I think I mentioned in the previous episode, or a little while ago anyway, about using stainless steel bolts. When I restore a car or build an engine or whatever, I had used the original bolts. And I polish them up on the wire wheel bench grinder and they look like brand new even the little washers everything right and i assemble the engine assemble the, the fenders whatever i'm putting on and sure enough a couple days later they're starting to rust so then i said oh i'm going to spray them with a uh, clear lacquer but that kind of when you would look at the the uh the paint you could see a little different sheen, if you will. So then I said, okay, we're just using stainless steel. And there is some lube on our chain. And I'm putting most of it on top because this will seep down. Okay, then of course, we'll throw some oil on here too. Alrighty. Now let's get the uh, hold the tensioner out of the way, which I put lube on. Center it up on the seal, and I have my finger on that tensioner. I'm just now slide it forward, pushing the tensioner against the chain, and line up the dowels and the seal, maybe. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Something went, wrong. Something went terribly wrong. Okay, holding the tension out of the way. Oh, that went much better. Okay, cover is on. Now we'll start with the nuts and bolts. There we go. Now we're going to tighten them up. The last thing I'm going to do here is put on the dampener wheel, dampener pulley, the big pulley on the front of the motor. Okay, there we go. Put our bolt in. I am not going to torque this down at this time because I don't remember if this has to come off to slip the engine in the car. So we're just gonna snug it in for now. And I'll check up on, I'll check up on that.
before we put it in. We're gonna put the oil pan on now. We're going to put down a uh, sealant, gasket, oil pan, and 23 stainless steel bolts to hold it all together. The oil pan is on. We're going to torque the oil pan bolts to 20 pounds so you have a nice even seal. <laughs> 